Basically, what she told me was that as as man started to progress into language, like really using languages instead of just vibrations of self and the animal brain, our animal brain understands symbols better than it understood language. So even in our animal brain, our reptilian brain right fucking now, which is the reason why occultism exists, because deep secrets we're we're advanced, so deep secrets get lost in the animal brain, the reptilian brain. So, when you see a symbol of a pentagram, or you see a symbol of Satan, or I would I would just call it the uh, androgynous being of, you know, the fucking beast with titties, bells above, or whatever. You see these symbols, your mind understands that the reptilian brain understands that like words. And that's where the subconscious starts to create all these fucking imagery when you're sleeping and shit like that. And it's constantly being fed these symbols to the reptilian brain all the time through, you know, brainwashing methods and shit like that every day. So when you see even the simplest shit. So the conversation started was I keep seeing frogs all the time and I understand why I'm seeing frogs. But, you know, I just like to see what people think. And so I just say shit. To see what people are doing. You know, this is a negotiation tactic I learned from an FBI agent. So I just say shit just to see what uh -huh. motherfuckers is thinking. So I'm like, man, I keep saying these frauds, man. What you think it mean? And she told me that shit. And I'm like, well, yeah, I know that. But shit like that. If you understand what your, your reptilian brain is linked up, first off, to your DNA. Your DNA is encoded with all your past cells. Right now, you're the, the newest version of whatever. If you have kids, they're the newer versions of your past self. So if you see your parents, that's who you were before. If you see now your physical body, that's the fun part. But your soul, actually, the, the fucking universe is encoded mm -hmm. in that as well. So there's two splits. You got your body's data, like the USB data, and then you got your soul's data, which it's kind of harder to tap into, but it's connected to the ether. So everybody has a sphere around them, an etheric shield rather, that houses all of this information. It's like a cloud. You get you tap into your crown chakra when uh you know Schumann resonance, which we talked about that actually today in the fucking Discord. Schumann resonance, which is the planet's heartbeat, sends information through your crown chakra. So when it goes through your etheric shield, it's downloading. And you tapping into the Akasha or Akasha Records, which is the library of and everything is in there. Now, think about your life like this. If every day I'm walking around with this fucking huge ass cloud around me with all this information, right? That means those thoughts, right? Where are they coming <laughs> from, right? Akasha, they're coming from the etheric realm. They're coming from the universe, but it's already stored within you. This is not shit that's happening in the past or in the future. This is present. So if you are listening and you calm yourself, because your body is always being stimulated all the time, constantly. You still yourself, which then stills the mind. Then you, you're able to understand why these thoughts. Remember, these are symbols, right? The, the uh -huh. reptilian brain. You listening uh -huh. to these thoughts. Now, the reason why meditation works is because now you're taking account of the symbols that the reptilian brain is giving to you, but they talking through phrases or pop culture, you know, shit that is like in now. Because remember, caveman times, people just, uh, they grunt vibrations. But now we have actual context behind the grunts. We have context behind the vibrations. Or right, is this a low vibration thought? Is this a high vibration thought? 